And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Minnesota Twins and the Detroit Tigers. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here. And on the hill in this one, Bo Brisky. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So if you look at the numbers, they haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. The wind of the pitch. Willie Castro in the box now. No balls and a strike. And the righty deals. Just off the outside corner. And that is ball one. Swinging. And one ball. Oh, really went really aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Here's Trevor Larnick. Hey. Larnick, 27 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2018. One out, base is empty. Aye. Right through there for a strike. Oh, and two. And One there's ball. a ball. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Fouls it off, still one and two. One down, base is empty. And now it's even up. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Swing and a tapper. Throws the first in time. Quick start here this evening, two out, top of the first. Okay, let's check out the lineup. One of the more high-powered lineups in the game right now. It's built to do damage, and they got some hitters that could punish the baseball, Chris. So fun to watch these players take their at-bats. I mean, they're so disciplined. Don't give not just at-bats away, but really pitches away. Very aggressive, competitive in the zone, and when they connect, there's usually some loud noise to it, so we'll keep our ears open today. Urshela puts it away, and that is that. Twins nothing. Tigers coming to bat. You're dialed into the show. Back here in Detroit, towing the slab in today's game, Joe Ryan. Well, he's allowing just over one base runner per inning, which is really good, especially for a starter, because these hitters get to see you two, three, maybe even four times in a start. So just shows you how deceptive and how effective his stuff go, is. Go. We'll, we'll see if it's that way in this one. Right. And now, Wenzel Perez. The line of the pitch. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Right hander kicks deals. And oh, ball one. Damn. That clips the corner. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off.
pitch. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner. With two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Now the number two hitter, Colt Keith. And a good eye there. Left hand batter waits. Slow roller to first. The flip to the oh. pitcher covering. And two quick outs in the bottom that of the first good. here tonight. Let's take a check of the Tigers lineup. And perhaps part of the game plan is to get into the bullpen as early as possible. They're facing a staff that's blown a lot of games in the later innings. Boog and his hitters, you're aware of that, but you don't want to become too relaxed and wait too late in the ball game because you never know what could happen on any given day. But with that said, even if you fall behind Whoa, early, you've got a lot of confidence that this game will not be over until that final out. for a strike two out spaces empty that oh, one a little bit there. high and a count two and one two outs Struck him out looking. Tigers fail to make any noise. Scoreless after one. Back at Comerica Park. Second inning set to go. And now for the Twins, Max Kepler. Brisky back to work ground ball left that side down. and that's just foul and the pitch ball misses inside. off the inside and that's ball one Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one well with Simmons it's not always your standard strike zone boog it kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others but I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent so you got to stay ready up there yeah, one of those umpires, you just have to know what to expect, right? Exactly. Missed oh. with a changeup. Two and two. Yeah. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two-two now. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And a foul ball. No score here in the second. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Over near the wall. Urshela brings it in with a nice running grab. The third base is Brooks Lee. Here's the rookie third baseman, Brooks Lee. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Two down, nobody on. That one pushed foul. And here it comes. Misses inside. And a count one and two.
stays alive. Up the middle. Fires to first on the run. They get the out, and that will do it. Twins are set down one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Is one and one. Yeah. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One ball, two strikes. That one blasted deep to right. His 18th home run of the season, and the Tigers have the lead. It's 1-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of his ballpark. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. It's the outside corner with that one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The why to kick the pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. On the ground to third, and he grabs it foul. Right into the plate. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. Here's the 0-2. That's Whoa. down and in. One ball, two strikes, account. To the right side, Julian throws the first oh. in time. Batting seven. No left field here. Yeah. So digging in, Zach McKinstry. Swing and a miss. Oh, and one. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues oh, to climb the line. ladder. That misses. And the count even one and one. Bounced up the middle. Julian tosses the oh. first, and that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now one nothing. It's Major League Baseball on the show. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Austin Martin. And a pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one.
popped up first base side. Madris moving under it. Makes the grab one down. Well, oh, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Now it's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. And that clips the inside corner. On the corner for a strike. And a count is 0 and 2. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. This one in the air. Urshela drifts towards it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there are two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Here's Christian Vasquez. And delivers outside. And a 1 1. Hey. Late on that fastball. I think one he was ball. sitting off speed there. Three. Another 1 2. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Twins retired in short order. They still trail 1 0. Now it's the shortstop, Javier Baez. Oh, yeah. That's a strike. And it's 0-1. Javier Baez, like fellow Puerto Rican Francisco Lindor, born in Puerto Rico, but was drafted in the first round out of high school in Florida. On the ground. Castro sends it to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Gio Urshela steps in. Pitch misses. Ball one. Wouldn't nope. chase that Stop time. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. That's and another three. ball. Foul ball there. Righty delivers. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. Oh, he was ready for that fastball right there. Really turned on it, hit it hard at the distance. With just too much hook to it. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there. On its way and out of here. A solo shot. And they add on. It's 2 nothing. He kept swinging and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. I'm sure he wanted that pitch down below the zone. It stayed up a little bit. He paid a dear price for it. Just a great swing to the ball, through the ball. A nice round trip. So the batting order turns over. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Wenzel Perez. On the ground, right side. 
Throws the first in time. Now that second baseman, Cole Key. Two outs, base is empty. Colt Key up now for the Tigers. Grounded out his first time up. High grounder into the outfield for a knock. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. The Diamond on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. He squared up as much as he probably would really like, but that's a good approach paying off. Justin Henry Malloy up now for the Tigers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One run across in the frame so far here in the last half of the third. A little bit high, and that's ball two. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Two outs. Hey. Late on that fastball. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. He clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2 0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. Ball Next three. offering upstairs. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Outside, and that is ball four. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Here's Riley Green. He's already homered in this game. On the ground, the first. Santana takes it to the bag. They limit the damage here. Tigers add one to the lead on this homer. And it's two zip. Back after this on the show. Back here in Detroit, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Willie Castro. The pitch. Castro in his fifth season, 26 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. Up and in, and that's ball two. Hey. Best ball for a strike. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Perez going back, pulls it in on the warning track. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And next Trevor is the designated hitter, Larnick. Trevor Larnick. That's in for a strike. The Twins hitless so far in the game. That's out to center field. Green settles under it. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. The center field, number 25. Byron. Here's Byron Buxton. Buxton. 0 for 1 so far. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time. And he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the team. The throw in. And he's out. Up down, and that ends the inning. Back 
at Comerica Park. Bottom of the inning. Now at the plate, Carson Kelly. Ryan back to work. Nope, Just missed. For Joe Ryan, the journey so interesting when you think of a guy who started his college career at Cal State Northridge and then ultimately transferred to a Division II school, Cal State Stanislaus. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck. Mark reaching back towards the left. That's not coming back. It just got out of here. And they add a run. It's 3-0. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. And up next for Detroit, Lai Madris. Swings through that one for strike one. Oh, one. It was out of Cal State Stanislaus that he was a seventh round pick by the Rays and then eventually got a chance to make his way through the Rays system and then was dealt for Nelson Cruz to the Minnesota Twins. The pitch. Rips that one center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Up one down. The no left field. Here's the left fielder, Zach McKinstry, grounded out his first time. And a foul ball. One out, base is empty, and a run in. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And it's fouled away. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Nabs it. Two away. The bat. The, the shortstop. Short Javier. Javier. Now it's Javier, Javier. Baez. He's 0 for 1. And there's a strike. All ones the count. Foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Down. And that is that. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 3-0. New inning getting started. Max Kepler at the plate. Max Kepler. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these twins, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. That one missed ball. by a lot. All one. Fights it off, he'll see another. And That's another ball. The now next pitch misses, two. and the count is filled up. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Eight. Down on strikes. One up, one down. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. The bat, and now it's the, the switch hitter, position. Carlos Santana. Carlos. Santana. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's, that's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. One down, base is empty. 
And he grounds one back up the middle. Baez fires over to first. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Now, now, now. Well, he's doing a nice Rook job Rook. of keeping the ball Rook. out of the air. Lee. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Rooks lead. The next twin up to hit. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. And a foul ball. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. And they'll do it again. The pitch. Three. Swing and a miss. And he got him. And the Twins go one, two, three. Nothing doing here for the Twins. Still down three nothing. And we're back. Leading Here's Gio Rochelle. The third baseman. The right hander back to work. Swing and a ball popped up. Julian moving under this one. And a quick out number one. Now batting. Right fielder. Wenzel. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Wenzel Perez. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Next offering is downstairs. And ball another three. ball. Reno. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And he walked him on four pitches. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. The second base. And now, Colt Heath. Heath. in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Rudder takes off. Bounce to the left side. And it goes just foul. Left-hand hitter waits. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Perez, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. One ball. Chase that time. Pick off loop to first. Hey. Perez back on a dive. And he's down on strikes. Now two away. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball in the outer black. And sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Next is the Tigers DH. Justin Henry Malloy. Hard ground ball. Base down. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Now the batter now. Riley oh. Green just missed. Count one and oh. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second.
Next offering is in for a strike. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Bailey Ober getting loose out there. Sands getting cranked up as well. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Buxton sizing it up. He's got it. And that will end the inning. Tigers strand a pair, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. And now for the Twins, Austin Martin. Glide out his first time. And the right hater back to work. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Here comes a pitch. That misses the zone. One and one. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. The line and the pitch. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. Perez snags it on the run. Now that second baby. And next for Minnesota, Edouard Julien. First time up was a pop out. Ball one, no strikes. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. The Twins trailing by three. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Not even close there. Now two balls and a strike. Way out front for strike two. Two balls, two strikes. The other way. It gets down, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Brew. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Man at first, and here's the catcher, Christian Vasquez. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. That misses the zone, and it's one and one. Man at first, one away. The one-one is fouled off. Two. And another ball. Three, two now. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Now move to first, no, and he's, he's back in on a dive. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Drops into the glove. Now that. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. This is Willie Castro. Right through there for a strike. Well, if he's going to steal second, 
You want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Two outs. And there's a foul ball. Next one. one misses. Now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Count. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The one-two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kicks and fires. Got him looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Tigers three and the Twins nothing. Now it's going to be Carson Kelly. He's already homer here in this one. Kelly. The pitch. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. And he deals. And that's in for a strike. Well, I didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. Didn't go. And that's just foul. And the righty deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Now the first baseman, Lai Madris. Just missed. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. And that's too high. And the right-hander deals. That one fouled off. Two and two. Okay. Upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Good job to fight that one off. Payoff pitch. And there's ball four. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running okay, short. He's trying to show some signs of no fatigue. One, so we'll see how much longer they let him go. Rocco Baldelli out of the dugout now, and he's going to make a change. Joe Ryan out of the game, and he's not going to be happy with himself. New pitcher on the mound in a moment. On the mound now for the Twins, Bailey Ober. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Zach McKinstry up now for the Tigers.
And he hits a ground ball right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Wastes no time there. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. The batter now, Javier Baez. Check swing. He went. Strike one. Oh, if they one, did a count. poll of top tattoos in Major League Baseball, Javi Baez, I think, would have to be in the top five. Right on the back of his neck is the Major League Baseball logo. So it's effectively right under the MLB logo that's on his cap. That one down the line and foul ball. The shortstop takes the ball. Meanwhile, activity of the bullpen. Josh Stamont warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Hit on the ground might be two. He flips it to second in time. Out of Santana, two. So the Twins pen delivers in that spot. We're through six full. It's the Tigers three and the Twins nothing. Trevor Larnick digs in now. The Twins in striking distance but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Towards first, Madris. Tosses to the oh. pitcher covering the bag. One up, one down. Now back, the center field Byron Buxton. So up next for Minnesota, Byron Buxton. One for two. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. That nope. one missed. One down, base is empty. That one drilled left field. McKinstry puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Now, that, that, the right field. now batting Max Kepler. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. the inside edge and it's one to know well as good as things can be it can be a tough day at the office even for the skippers seeing the offense just sputter not able to get anything going Flobber to right field way back gone his seventh home run of the season it's 3-1 just relentless this team will not quit velocity it's so critical that you move the ball around change speeds even try to trick the hitter at times but when you give up a home run right there manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss here comes the skipper and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot Bo Brisky departs we'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound on the pitch here well he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year and that's his first test this looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup Carlos Santana the next twin up to hit in for a strike one 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 there. Two down, nobody on. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Yeah. 
Next That's pitch misses. Two. It's two and two. And Eight another four. ball. Brooks Lee waits on deck. Right-handed reliever. This one smoked on its way out of here. They go back to back. It's 3-2. Those are the at-bats that leave pitchers exhausted. He had to throw a lot of pitches and still gave up the long ball. That's a bad combo. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. So two down, Brooks Lee, the next twin up to hit. That one fouled off. This is the zone, and that's ball one. Lifted in the air, right center field. Sizes this one up, makes the catch inning over. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. It's now a 3 2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Gio Urshela to the plate. The pitch. That one called the strike. It's 0-1. Over a 6-9 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. Kicks and deals. Hey. Big swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. Oh. Up and in, and it's one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't now, easy to do against right a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Perez stands in now and watches strike one. Fly ball down the line. And it drops in. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have now to be impressive. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher. But you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Keith, batting with one down, takes a strike. One run game, one out, one on. Throw over to first, and he's back in easily. And the pitch. Fought off foul. And he'll two. Keeps the at back going with a foul ball. Just misses with that one. Oh, 
stays alive. At the belt and fires. Got him swinging. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and it's still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. And now the DH, Justin Henry Malloy. First pitch, not close. Two outs. He swings and fouls one off. And a pitch. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Kepler on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. Tigers leave one, but they're up three to two. Shelby Miller comes on now. And he's had his struggles so far now this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. Miller. Austin Martin getting ready to hit. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Looking to get the tying run on base. Action in the pen down there. Jason Foley, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Oh, and two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Julian oh, at the plate now, and that's inside. Next offering is down low. Outside corner, there's a strike. One down, base is empty. And fouled off. Two two now. Swings and misses, struck him out. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's a herd of runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, I'll tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. So now pinch hitter for Minnesota, Matt Wallmer. Big at bat here, so looking for a better matchup with a left-handed bat. That one clips the outside corner, and it's 0-1. And, and ball one. Trying to hold a one-run lead, and we're in the top of the eighth. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. And a pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. He hasn't gotten the result yet, but he's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this pitcher. And that's that. 
Unbelievable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. So they bring on the veteran, Caleb Thielbaum. He's been so good against lefties. Now pitching now, for the win. Now into the game, Yair Camargo. Caleb he takes Caleb over behind the plate. This game for the win. Riley Green now, up now for the Tigers. One for three. Yair Camargo. The pitch. He was late there, strike one. Some All movement in the count. Twins' bullpen. Josh Stamont warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-2. Well, that's really the money spot, down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And here it comes. Oh. And that one a little one below ball, the knees. Gonna count one and two. Ah. Got him looking. And one away. Clearly looking out over the plate now, on that now, outer third. Catcher. And that pitch finished. Oh, oh, oh. Right down the middle, yeah, just man. a little bit in, and he couldn't pull the trigger. And next to hit for Detroit, Carson Kelly. Fastball for a strike, going one. And that one clips the corner. pitch that's outside, outside. That's ball. and a count one and two just missing off the plate there according to the umpire and out there on the mound maybe trying to get an explanation can't say he's convinced but it looks like he's accepted it this one popped up foul ground first base side Santana hauls it in for the out and there are two outs now batter. the first base base Bly Madris up now for the Tigers. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat get that first hit at the big league level. And the pitch is outside, ball one. That one missing inside. Two down, nobody on. Ball that close. And there's the automatic. Two outs. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for right there. Now, here is Zach McKinstry. There's a strike. This one in the air. Lee settles underneath it, makes the catch, and that will end the inning. One left for Detroit, but they still lead it 3 2. Jason Foley. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon 
for him this year. So the defense should be active. Really. The pitch. Castro in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire to give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Rip to short. Baez fires oh. over to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. That's a huge defensive play in the late the stages of the nine. game. It might not be the most challenging we've right, seen right, right, today, right. but Long it needed to be made. That's helping your team. Larner nope. in the box with one away ball as he one, takes no ball point. one. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. The one -oh. Fouled off. He was late. Trying to close out a one-run lead here at the top of the ninth. In for a strike. A little frustrated with the strike zone. One down, base is empty. Battling here as he fouls it away. Righty to the plate. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Left-hand hitter waits. That's inside. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. One-run game here at the top of the ninth. And a swing and a miss. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach. When you can hand the ball off to multiple arms, it gets stability from all of their performances. So they're down to their final out. And now for the Twins, Byron Buxton. First pitch doesn't find the zone. He deals. Flips the corner, and that's strike one. One strike away. Hit to right, and that should do it. And that'll do it. The Tigers hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch.